Hey guys, what's Yo, up? Yo, what's going we're on? We're watching something, I don't know Daddy what it is. Daddy doesn't know, <laughs> guess what we're watching, Daniel. I, I might have to explain. A this video of you shitting. Oh, Actually, this is Muppets. So, I've been getting really into like, the history of Jim Henson shit. And I know Daniel loves the Muppets. So, I went in and I looked in some history. <laughs> and I've tried to find the earliest, like, Muppets footage that's out there. So we're just gonna watch it. Just gonna watch Because I don't know if you've shit. ever seen this. No. This, I, alright, so this is, um, one, obviously one of Kermit's first appearances. I love me some Kermit, dude. On a show called Salmon Friends. NBC News, New York. Is that supposed to be Walter Cronkite? <laughs> Probably. Listen, listen to him talk. Uh, well, what would you like me to call you? Chad Huntley. Oh, okay, Chad Huntley. Tell me, as a news... Chad Huntley. Chad Huntley. This feels like satire. This feels like a parody. Yeah. It's so good. Uh, there, there's a lot of characters on this show, but Kermit was one of them. And it's interesting that, like, he's the only one that survives. Out. Yeah. It's really funny to see the the puppet here. It, it looks just like a cylinder, and then his wire arms, like his loose wire arms. But the head is the same. Yeah. Right. It's also really interesting hearing Jim's like evolution of his mm -hmm. Kermit voice. Hold it. Look, Professor, I'm a patient man, but what could be important enough to shout about? What is his character? I, what what voice does he later use in, as a Muppet for that voice? Because it sounded familiar. Pork and bacon sausage. <laughs> yeah, so also an interesting thing. Quality bacon! This Sam and Friends show, along with other stuff. I'd like an omelet. Obviously, Jim Henson started out just doing like commercials and shit for a bunch of companies. So a lot of this is like commercials. Brave. Wacko, take a potato. <laughs> So I believe Jim did this with his wife. They weren't. Uh, they weren't married. At the married time. at this point, but he started the show with her. Okay. I think Jane's her name. Did you hear shooting just now? But you wear cowboy boots, Marshall Dilly. They don't have laces. He's a little bit more. He's a little bit doofier sounding. The 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 interesting thing though is like. Care you. It's crazy how easy it sounded for Jim to just do oh, yeah. the voice he did for Kermit. And it's such an imitation game for people now mm -hmm. to have to do that. Kermit's voice is like right in here, but it sounds like he's kind of holding it back in the throat a little bit. Like. Yeah. You can do it, Buster. You've always been a square shooter. Hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> For a while there, I thought it was going to be a draw. For a while there, I thought it was going to be a draw. He sounds like Kermit the Frog, but also like Danny McBride. <laughs> <laughs> Pun smoke. Holy shit, that's awesome. Oh, so, Jim Henson, you are a fucking master. <gasps> so, this is probably one of the first times you see Kermit with a banjo. Kermit's a lefty. They used to also do a lot of music videos in their, like, segments. I guess it was easy for them to... I mean, oh, it's, I like this song and a puppet is singing it. That's yeah. cute. So they started doing, like, music skits along with oh, that. Oh, whoa. This guy is one of the first people that had, like, a hand mm -hmm. as his actual hands kind of puppet. Yeah. This obviously could be, like, Cookie Monster inspiration. Yeah. It's food with a hand puppet. Mm-hmm. He's, like, a little bit disturbing. <laughs> yeah, the, I do not like, like, the molding of this face. Have you ever seen the behind the scenes early Sesame Street? It's like one person, I think it's I think it's Bernie, where they have one person is the left hand yeah, yeah, yeah. and the and the puppet and the face and they, then another person is the right hand. They usually had the puppeteer is in the right using for mouth, yes. left hand. And I forget, I thought, it, I forget if it's like co-pilot or something, but there's a term for that extra for that. person who does the hand. Uh -huh. And they're usually the hand that like grabs shit from off screen to bring into frame. Oh, because it. they can actually see it. Yeah. I also didn't fucking know this, but the original Burton Ernie was Jim Henson and Frank Oz. And like, it's pretty much their personalities like grew out from them. That's so cool. I kept on advancing. And then I got interested in jazz. Oh, I don't like jazz. jazz <laughs> it moves, see? Like this. Oh, cool. You pop it up, 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 up. Oh. Yeah, and here's where it can get dangerous. Why? 
That doesn't seem very dangerous to me. You can you can also see like super easy other Sesame Street inspiration with like on screen like letters and Yeah. Well uh, how do you get rid of it? Well this may sound weird, but you erase it by saying backwards what you said forwards to make it in the first place, you follow? I'm confused. Well in this case I say <laughs> this is fucking. This is genius, dude. Now you uh, take what you just said and turn it around. Right. That's marvelous. Do it. Wow. I am actually like fascinated with this. <laughs> Uh, it's only getting bigger. Oh my God. <laughs> the bonus of Kermit's like lines always get me. You see what's gonna happen, don't you? No, what? It's gonna erase us. Oh no! Holy shit! Help! Help! <laughs> It's kind of dark. Wow. Oh, it's pun smoke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. The new spokesman for Wilson's Certified Meats, Scoop and Skip. <laughs> so now we're getting into a lot more of the advertisements. But look at the puppets now. They're like, they look more muddy Yeah, they already. do. Like the eyes. Oh yeah, this is already- Yeah, it's Ralph! That's like his first appearance. I don't know, he was like old, like old, like Kermit old. Mm -hmm. I'm the Muppets big lovable shaggy dog Ralph on ABC's The Jimmy Dean Show. But they, they said Muppets. Yeah, they used Muppets very early on as just the term for Jim Hetson okay. Muppets. Okay, 1956, what the fuck? Yeah. This was on a talk show, I forget which one. It's kind of Kermit? It's hard to tell it if is, it's like... It looks like Kermit because it's the eyes. Yeah, it's hard to tell some of them is just like this is the only way to know how to make a puppet. There's something so unique about like the folds under mm -hmm. Kermit's neck that is so like expressive. It's crazy. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? I don't even know the song that he's singing. That's no. so great. Want some Wilkins coffee with your strawberry shortcake? Can't say that I do. You can't say that you don't either. <laughs> Savage. I can get you Wilkins coffee for a price. I wouldn't touch it. There's no future in an attitude like that. <laughs> it won't bother you. All you got is a shipment of Wilkins coffee. I learned that everybody drinks Wilkins. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Why are we climbing this tree? For Wilkins coffee. I don't want any. Some <laughs> <laughs> guards salute Wilkins coffee. But I don't drink Wilkins coffee. Some learn, some don't. <laughs> you can tell Jim always wanted to be like an adult oriented puppet show, which is why it was so hard after Sesame Street to like cut, cut. Now what's the trouble? Go back into the adult era. Yeah. Because a lot of people were just like, oh, puppets are for kids. Sesame Street. Of Sesame Street, yeah. But look at this shit he's coming from. Like, like this is amazing. <laughs> dog the big, dog, that's dog so dead. big dead, dude. <laughs> oh, here he is. I think Kermit has stayed a lefty his entire I would hope existence. so. So gather around. It's probably because Jim needed right hand he for the mouth. Yep. And left you can strum. Damn Kermit! He's playing like a loot. Get it. He created all these characters, created all of these stories, and did most of their voices. And then he was like, let's do more with the fucking Muppets. And then and then just let's create more and more and more Muppets. Look at here, minstrel. Your Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> He's got a stogie, dude. Damn, how did they make it smoke? That's an order. That's interesting. I wonder if someone just like lit it and put it. It was just like, here you go, here you go, here you go. I love the <laughs> The key that this is in. It fits his voice well, too. <laughs> like, you know it's coming, but it's still funny every time.
Da. <laughs> you couldn't even no. see a Muppet production Whoa, in that. Oh, dude. Oh, God, yeah. I love it. Well, I hope. Fuck, man. I hope you all learned a lot as well. I love. I love them so much. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. And um, we'll, we'll see you guys on the next episode, dude. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I, we didn't even fucking mention it. Danny got a fucking Kermit puppet. Got a Kermit puppet for, his birthday. for my birthday. And it's legit. And here's the video. <laughs> Hi, yo, it's Kermit the Frog finally making his Sour Pack debut. And, um, yeah. All right, bye. Bye. You gotta film something with Kermit for this. Okay, I will. <laughs>